Welcome to Calabria, and we're snorkeling today. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are slowing down and we're pulling up to like a little inlet area and we're gonna go snorkeling. So, so I love snorkeling. I love being in the water. I feel like a fish. That's why I like do not get offended when people call me a whale sometimes because I'm like, wow, I do love the water and I am very smart. It makes sense. Okay, so I was like a little nervous. I always am nervous with snorkeling because you know, I'm a big girl and the ladders can be like really small, but these are like really sturdy, heavy duty ladders, which I'm really excited about because that means there's gonna be no like issues with me getting in and out of the water. I will say, do know you have to get up and out um, using a ladder, which means if you don't have the upper body strength, keep that in mind if you choose to go snorkeling or not. We're on the southwest side of Culebra. This is called Tamarindo Bay. Over here in Culebra, we have a lot of fire coral, which are all the bright colors that grows oh, underneath. That hurts. If you happen to get too close, that you touch it, you rub it against your skin, you will notice quickly why they call it fire coral. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're about to go into the water and they gave us a whole bunch of warnings. Don't go too far, don't touch the coral. Someone said there were sharks, I know that's a lie, but I'm still nervous, I'm still nervous, and uh, don't drown. So that's my task for today, is to not drown and to make it out without hitting a fire coral. Um, this is my snorkeling mask, and I'm gonna go get the little stuff in it that defogs it, and I'm gonna get in the water, and we're gonna enjoy this beautiful water here at Calubre. 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 <laughs> Um, and this is just our first stop on a whole adventure today, so I'm excited. I love getting in the water. Getting in the water is like my favorite thing. Seriously. Love. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be the one saving you. Oh, You're, not something gonna. Happens. You're not gonna have to save me. Okay. I'll save my damn self. <laughs> I don't need a prince. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would have been rough. It's baby soap, but... Still would be rough. Yeah. I mean, it's already gonna be rough. Ready. What if I just walk through life with this on? What? I'd never get anything in my eyes. Yeah, you're not gonna, you have to put put this uh, strap a little bit higher than your ears. You're gonna pull <laughs> this strap, this one. Oh, that one. And the other one. No, no, no. Oh. Two at the same time. Let's get it loose again. <laughs> He's like, now. this girl's a mess. <laughs> Where's the other one? Let me help you. Let me help you get it. <laughs> okay. Now pull them both at the same okay. time. This was a little bit towards, looser, so I just- Towards the back of your I think head. it's good. If you have this option, you get. Oh, I'm sucked in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are some sturdy stairs. Bitch can climb these. You know you get your fears, cause like, sometimes you get on these boats and they've got like a tiny metal rod that you know is hollow inside. I'm like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die coming up these steps. You're not gonna die today. It's really cold though. I just wanna throw that out there. Oh, okay. Okay, it's cold. You lied about the water temperature. That was a hard lie. <laughs> hard lie. It is not warm. <laughs> this might be a bad idea. Um, I'm in the water. I have a GoPro. This is our first time using this, by the way. And I'm gonna take you snorkeling with me. Uh, things to note, if you are not a good swimmer, they do have like uh, little things you can wrap around your waist. If you're a bigger girl, you're actually just gonna float a lot easier. So you may not need it at all. So I don't need it right now. We are pretty close to the beach, but I have no one around me, which is kind of crazy. Now I'm gonna flip this around and show you what we, what we got underwater. because <laughs> I try to be like uh, impressive and go on water and I'm not impressive. I'm not an impressive scuba -er. I'm having fun. I have no clue how this is going to turn out. This, this footage might be a total shit show. But you know what? <laughs> not an expert. Yeah, this is easy actually. Oh, and I love that they have these. <laughs> yeah. Done. That's easy. Yeah, yeah. Not hard at all. A little Sammy Sam. I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to try to sneak back in. So I gotta like take it fast. I'll make it. I'll just wander so far from the boat that they have to wait for me to come back. Nobody heard that, right? So we're leaving snorkeling. We are going to our next spot and I am eating a galleta, which is a cookie. Andre! <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so we're just about to dock at Flamenco Beach. And this dude's got to swim down and like anchor it himself. Uh, he's like very proud. Look at him like just peacocking over there. See him? He's peacocking behind me. So I walked to the beach, right? <laughs> Sorry. I walked to the beach, but then I decided I just wanted to be in the water. So I'm just floating here with this giant pad and living my best life because we come to these things to relax, right? <laughs> An amazing time in Puerto Rico. We always talk about the tea of travel, right guys? So we're talking about the terrain. It's very easy to get on a boat. The people on this boat are very helpful. We got Jamil and Kathy, and they are good people. They will help you on the boat. Uh, we're gonna talk about environment. It is hot as hell. So uh, you can sit in the shade, but it's still gonna be hot as hell. The boat does have wind when you're driving though, so that helps a lot. And it is humid, so it is, it's just hot. There are, Hold on, wait for it. They'll bring me back, I swear. There are sandwiches and food and stuff you can have here. <laughs> Kathy is a pro at getting you whatever beverage you need. She's making sure that you are hydrated. And then for activity level, it's up to you. You can stay on the boat and do nothing. You can get in the water and snorkel and swim. Uh, it's really set your own pace. So this is like, anybody can do this one. As long as you can deal with heat. Just bring sunscreen. <laughs> the universe collided and wanted me to tell that up close. Wear sunscreen. Oh my God. Oh, okay, this is going down up. I'm half of, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're just gonna get away from the boat. <laughs> you know what, you know what? This, this is, this is my life. That's this, how you have to get on, on the mat. This is how you can get shade in Puerto Rico, is you just get under the mat. Okay, I'm getting out, I'm getting out, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Okay, y'all need to see how freaking clear the water is because it's ridiculous. Like, um, this apparently was one of the like best beaches in the world before the hurricane. And then the hurricane kind of like screwed it up a little bit, but it's now back to being one of the best beaches and the water is like insane. John started swimming and he started screaming, I'm swimming, you gotta film me. So, yes you do. So I have this theory that there's two types of people. You're either like a beach person or a water person. You either want to sit on the beach and look at the water or you want to be in the water and look at the beach or at more water. I am 100% a water person. So like we could walk to the beach and I did walk to the beach earlier, but I just want to sit in the water and soak it up. I think sometimes when we visit places, I don't get to do what I love the most because I'm always thinking about everybody else. And today I'm being a little selfish and I'm thinking about myself and what I enjoy most, which is the water. And I think what's great about this trip specifically is that you can stand in the water. So if you're not a strong swimmer, you can just come and enjoy the water in a way that's totally safe. And a lot of excursions I take that are water-based, that's not the case. You have to be somewhat of a stronger swimmer. This is a great excursion for someone who is not a swimmer at all, actually. I mean, I saw a girl walk down to the beach carrying two drinks off of the boat. That's how easy it is to walk from the boat to the beach. And uh, yeah, so that's another thing I just want to point out is it's like, it's just a really great tour. Honestly, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. And that's why I'm like, can I just stay in the water and just keep living my best life? We're heading back. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm sunburned, but I had a good day. <laughs> Oh, this has been amazing. <laughs> Hug me, Kathy. Of course. Oh, you were great. <laughs> Thank you. I hope to see your video, okay? You have to leave your video. We'll link it to you guys, I yes. promise. Thank you. Done and done. Okay, so we finished the day. We are headed back to the hotel now. I am definitely sunburnt, but I am so happy in my heart because I had so much fun today. Met a lot of amazing people. I learned a lot of really interesting stories about how they met and how they came together. And it just reminded me that good people find good people. So if you feel frustrated or stressed out in the world today, you'll find your people. Just give it time. Keep being good. Keep being kind. But for that, guys, remember, always go out and explore the world. I'll see you later. Peace.